we're going to take a look at domain transformation. And we're going to start off by recalling the merge sort algorithm. Right? What, what was the runtime for the merge sort algorithm? Right? So we had T of n, and this is going to be T of the floor of n over 2 plus T of the ceiling of n over 2 plus that constant Cn. Right? That's what we had. So we had the floor and the ceiling. Let's go ahead and mark that up over here. floor and the ceiling. Now we're going to create an upper bound. So we're going to go ahead and create an upper bound here. Go ahead and write out T of n is less than or equal to 2t. In the brackets, we have n over 2 plus 1, because we're creating the upper bound, plus c. But we previously stated, right, this is the one that we saw earlier, right? This, so we'll go ahead and put, a, put T star over here. This is the one we've seen in earlier videos. We stated that the runtime was two, uh, or this T star N over two. This is the one that we saw, remember this, plus CN. So why is it okay to go with both of these definitions right here, right? Well, we'll start off by setting T star of N. We'll set that to T of N plus two. Now we're going to see how we're going to work our way uh, back over. So we're going to go ahead and say this is less than or equal to. So obviously, we have the T star uh, N on this side. We'll put that as 2T N plus 2 over 2 plus 1. And that will have a constant. We'll put a C, um, we'll put a C prime there just to uh, differentiate them for now. 2T N over 2 plus 2 plus big O of n, that's essentially what uh, the constant of n is going to be. It's just going to be big O of n. And now this 2 over here is really not going to play any role, right? We multiply everything inside of here by 2. So we have n over 2 plus 2. And that's not going to play much of a role. It's going to just essentially get crushed over here. And we will go ahead on to have n over 2 plus big O of n. So with all this being said over here, so we can essentially say, let's get a new color. So T star of N is less than or equal to 2T N over 2 plus big O of N. So it's all hooked up right there. We actually have a star here, sorry. So this, you know, with the master's theorem, right? What was the master theorem, right? So I'll return to the master theorem. That we are in that form, right? We always want to get to that form, uh, the one where we can go ahead and let's get yellow. We can snipe out our A, we can snipe out our B, and we can snipe out the D. Obviously, D in this case is 1, B in this case is 2, and A in this case is uh, not 1, sorry, it's 2. So by the master's theorem, we know that we are comparing A to B, D. So we are comparing 2 to 2 to the 1. These are going to be equal to each other. So A is equal to B to the power of D, which means we are going to use for our runtime over here, big O of N log N. That will be our runtime. But we wanted T of N, right? We still want T of n, right? So how exactly are we going to go over and get that T of n? Well, here we go. Simple enough. T of n is equal to T star n minus 2, which is, you know, going reversing the original uh, relation that we had. So this essentially is going to be big O of n minus 2 multiplied by log n minus 2. And this is going to be the same thing as just straight up n log n, right? Those extra numbers that we're subtracting, those extra twos that we are subtracting are not going to matter. They're not going to be affecting us. So all this might have seemed, you know, like it was trivial, but we, we already know that this here was the runtime of the merge sort algorithm. So all this to say, this whole process right, is to say that T 
star of n is equal to t plus or sorry t of n plus 2 and this was domain transformation right we know that t star of n will be a function of what you are solving but it has a nicer form right we don't have to deal with the ceiling and the floor which is how we went from one to another so essentially that's just what this video was covering right we were just going to look at the beginning over here we had this form over here for the merge sort algorithm and we don't want to deal with this because it's ugly it's you know just hassle so essentially we just brought that back to the form that we saw in the past now i'll probably have some more videos on this type of domain transformation because it is a bit confusing it's one of those things that you say why do we even bother uh, having to learn that it just seems like it doesn't have a purpose but it does and it puts it in a better form so if you were starting with this one over here you would bring it to something that is more convenient like the one that we have right over here so thank you very much for watching and we'll be moving on to a new topic in the next video